Hey there, welcome back to the YouTube channel and myself Pranav Kumar and I'm going to share with you a video demonstration on how to install a custom ROM on your Android device. And for this video instance, I have selected Nexus 4 which is my daily driver for about 2 years from now and I'm installing Nagat 7.1.1 version which is the latest Android operating system available right now. So with no further ado, we shall just jump right into the installation process. And the very first thing is that you need to enter the bootloader mode and to enter into the bootloader mode there are certain key combinations based on your OEM or, man or manufacturer. So you need to verify that you, whether your device has an unlocked bootloader or not. You can verify by just having a glance about the summary that is being shown down here below. So the red text that is being showing here is the status of our unlock our bootloaders. All right. So my device has an unlocked bootloader, and with the help of a volume buttons, we should enter into the recovery mode. By default, there are certain pre-installed stock recovery images based on your OEMs. All right. So just enter the recovery mode and hit on the power button. All right. So once you're booted into the recovery mode, your interface may not be the same as that of that is being shown in the video. All right. So, but the functionality would be the same. Okay. The very first thing you need to do is that you need to wipe your data. All right. But hey, there is a point here. Please do not wipe your SD card. All right. Because you will be storing the zip file and other image files in the SD card. All right. So. Please do not format the SD card. So, once you wipe all the user data, just hit on the power button or just touch on it. All right. So, the next process is to install the zip file. There is an option of installing a zip file by default. Uh, I would suggest you can go with the SD card browsing the SD card browsing the uh, zip file from your SD card or by the side loading for side loading you need to connect your device to a computer and you need to enter a command like adb side load and the appropriate file name of your zip file okay so you should click on the zip file and here you can see that nitrogen os marco is the device name and install.zip file is here so just hit on yes install the zip file and once you hit on install.zip file you should be good enough to have a have a screen similar to this where you see the certain line of codes that has been running down below and i'm speeding up this process so that you can reach at the end of the installation process and the device is good to go and will boot up in few moments we shall wait for it to boot up all right and hell yeah the device is just booting up we shall wait for the boot animation i see i guess google's pixel boot animation will be here and hell yeah that was a google pixel boot animation on nexus 4 but but for some other reason if you get another boot animation for your device i will link the boot animation zip file and even a upcoming tutorial on how to change your boot animation on any device on any android device and have a customized boot animation for your device depending on your device density per inch pixel ratio the boot animation files may differ my nexus 4 was having 320 dpi's and 1280 cross 720 aspect ratio screen ratio so i have selected i will be selecting that sort of boot animation file and now the device is going to boot up i have even speed up this process so that you don't waste your time so the device has just booted up and that's the home screen for our device and you can see that there is a pixel launcher pre-installed in our 
ROM. Now this is not the pixel launcher but a similar kind of pixel launcher that is very similar to pixel launcher and you don't notice a application draw icon but you will see an application draw slider where all the applications are in the slider just you need to swipe up to have a glance on what the applications are being installed in your device and there, there are the home screen icons so I will just show you what are the uh, different settings that are available in this device so just go to the about phone option and I will show you the nitrogen OS is being installed and on my Nexus 4 there you go on Nexus 4 and on 7.1.1 version and there is a super user option too which is pre-installed and you don't need any superzoo.zip file to be booted up or to be installed at the bootloader sequences so there you go android nugget and nugget so well, what do you think about the next upcoming android o which is being rumored to be launched at uh, june or july of 2017 what would be the name of o please drop your opinion and share this video please subscribe if you like this video thank you for watching peace